Setting up Pro Tools to work with Reason through Rewire is relatively easy to do and I'm going to show you guys how to do it using Pro Tools 9 on Windows 7. This should be pretty much the same configuration if you're working on a Mac at home, so you should be okay to follow us along. Now the first thing that I should mention is that it's very important that you open Pro Tools before you open Reason. If you open Reason before you open Pro Tools, Rewire isn't going to work right and you'll find that you won't be able to connect the two programs. So it's very important that you open Pro Tools first. As long as you do that, you'll be just fine. So now that I've got Pro Tools open and I've created a session, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new track. Now in order to get Reason to talk to Pro Tools, the first thing that I need to do if I want to do the most basic configuration is simply create a new stereo audio track. I'll create one. Now on this audio track, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I can see my inserts. If I can't see my track inserts, I'll click on View, I'll go to Edit Window Views, and select Inserts. Now I can see the inserts for this channel. On this channel, I'm going to click an empty slot, I'm going to scroll down the multi-channel plugin, go to Instrument, and now I'm going to scroll up and go to Reason Stereo. So you'll notice that Reason has automatically opened itself, and this is because I didn't previously have Reason open on my system here. And in Pro Tools, of course, the Rewire panel has opened up. Now this section is how we tell Reason how we wanted to talk to Pro Tools. Now currently all I'm going to do is send the stereo output of Reason into Pro Tools. So if you'll take a look at the section that has a pull down menu right here, you'll notice that if I click on it, I have a selection for a lot of different channels. But I do have currently selected Mix L, Mix R. This is fine because this is going to send the stereo output of Reason into Pro Tools. So now if I start playing Pro Tools, Reason should play along just fine with it. And there we go. Now I'm all set to send Reason into Pro Tools, and I can virtually mix Reason using Pro Tools and all my Pro Tools instruments if I want. Now, let's say that I want to control Reason using MIDI from Pro Tools. Well, this is also pretty easy to do. In order to get this started, the first thing that I need to do is go ahead and create a new MIDI track. I'm going to click on Track, go to New, and I'm going to select MIDI Track from the pull-down menu. I'll hit create and now I've got a new MIDI track. Now I need to take a look at the mix section for Pro Tools. Now I can access the mixer in two ways. I can click on window and go to mix or I can hold control and hit the equals sign on the PC. On the Mac that'll be the Apple key plus the equals sign. So now that I'm in the mixer section of Pro Tools I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the section marked in out. Right here in the in out I'm going to have two pull downs. The first pull down is the MIDI input selector. This is set to all and this means that Pro Tools is going to set, accept MIDI input from all the MIDI capable devices on my system. That's just fine. But what I want to do is take a look at the output section. If I click on the output, you'll notice that under the predefined section I have all the MIDI devices that are currently on my system, but I also have access to all of the instruments that are currently in my open reason rack. So let's say that I want to control the drums using my MIDI keyboard. Well, that's easy. All I've got to do is click on drums, which are on channel 3. And now, if I play my MIDI keyboard, I should hear Reason playing back using the MIDI keyboard. This is very useful because now, if I want to record any MIDI in Pro Tools, any MIDI that I record is going to play back into the MIDI instrument that I select in Reason. This effectively gives me an entire rack of instruments that I can use in Pro Tools from the Reason Rack and use them in my production. Now then, let's move on to one of the things that everybody always really wants to be able to do with Reason. And that is to be able to take each Reason instrument and send it into Pro Tools as its own virtual track. Well this is also pretty easy to do. I'm going to use the Kong Drum Designer for my example right here. And I'm going to use Kong because it has just a regular stereo output and I'm going to send that left-right output from Kong into Pro Tools. Now in order to do that, I again need to create some new tracks. I'm going to click on Track, and I'm going to go to New. Now I'm going to create two new mono audio tracks. I'll go ahead and hit Create. And now that I've got this section opened up, you're going to notice again I have the Insert section. Now I'm going to go ahead and click an empty slot. I'm going to go to Plugin. I'm going to go down to Instrument. And this time I'm going to select Reason Mono. The rewire panel is going to open up. Reason, of course, is already open, so I don't need to worry about that. 
Now I'm going to scroll down on the second mono track, go to plugin, go to instrument, and I'm going to scroll down and select reason mono yet again. So now the reason panel will open any time I select this insert on any of these tracks. So now in the rewire panel, I need to decide how I want to send Reason into Pro Tools. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the section that says a no output right now, and I'm going to select channel three for the first mono audio track that I created. On the second mono audio track, I'll go ahead and select channel four. Now I need to jump into Reason and make a couple quick changes. I'm going to jump over into Reason. And now again, taking a look at the Kong Drum Designer, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the Reason Rack around by hitting the Tab key on my keyboard. This shows me the virtual mixing section of Reason. This is very useful because this gives me access to the audio inputs and outputs of all the different instruments that I've got here. So now if I take a look at how Kong is being sent into Reason right now, I'll notice that Kong is being sent into Reason on channels one and two of the Remix Virtual Mixer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reroute that. I'm going to start with the with one channel and I'm going to drag it and drop it into channel three on the hardware interface in Reason. I'm going to do the same for the second channel. I'm going to drop it into channel four on the Reason hardware audio input hardware interface. Now what this has done is it's rerouted the sound of Kong to go into the audio input and output section of Reason. And what that's going to do is feed that audio back out and into Pro Tools. So now if I jump into Pro Tools and I hit play, I should hear the Kong Drum Designer come to life on the two mono audio tracks that I've created. Now again, this is very useful because this allows me to virtually mix any of the instruments in my Reason session in my Pro Tools project that I'm currently working on. I can add any of the RTAS effects that I've got, I can add delays, EQs, various things like that, and I can also virtually mix my entire production, of course. This is also very useful because this essentially lets you take Reason out of the box and take everything that it can do and import it into Pro Tools. Now, of course, the final most important thing that you'll need to do with any production that you're working on is bounce it out into an audio track that you can mix down and then use for burning to CD or MP3 or anything like that. That's easy to do in Pro Tools, of course. All I've got to do is click on File, go to Bounce to, select Disk, and the Bounce dialog box is going to open up. And in the Bounce dialog box, I can choose the Bounce source, the file type, format, bit depth, things like that click on bounce and then I'll choose where I want to save my files and my production will be mixed down into a Pro Tools compatible WAV file or a file that I can then take burn to CD. I can also create an MP3 from Pro Tools if I wish and I'm all set to take my production from there and take it to the next level whichever that may be. As always I hope that this has been useful to you guys. If you have any questions please get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Obedia Tutor. Until next time, take care.